In this video, I would like to show you my case study for Google Ads account. It's a video editing services called WeedPros. They offer fractional video editors with a simple monthly subscription. I will show you the account before I started and what happened when I started to organize and optimize everything. So let me show you a Google account that I was working on from September 2023. I got an account in September and I will show you a comparison between August and September and show you what happened in that period of time. So if you're going to look at the conversions, we see that in September the account has generated 48 conversions, while in August it was 32, 46% change. As for price per lead, it wasn't changed drastically. The drop was just 2.4. My main goal here was to reorganize the account to understand which campaigns were working properly and generating leads and what campaigns weren't any profitable at all. So first thing that I did was to fix the tracking. There were a lot of different conversions that weren't used and some of them weren't active. I needed to fix that in order to get everything working properly. Another Another challenge for this account is that the main conversion here is book appointments and they are booking via Calendly and it's not in the website and since Calendly is not really part of uh, the main domain, it's a separate event that needs to be tracked. It's a separate event. Additional thing that I often see on all the Google Ads accounts is campaign settings. For example, goal settings should be set up correctly. As you can see, I set it up for book appointments. That's because that's the only thing that we want to track here and we want Google to understand that this is our main goal. As for marketing objective, we are generating leads here, not website traffic, not sales, leads, and it should be, and it should be selected as well. Now, let me show you the campaign setup itself. As for Google campaign structure, it has campaign, ad groups, and ads. While the budget is set up on the campaign level. You can set it up as a daily budget or a lifetime budget. When budget is set up on campaign level, it means that it actually divides the budget between all of your different ad groups. And the more ad groups you have, the more ad groups won't work properly inside of this campaign because Google doesn't have the resources to test them all. And you will see just few of your ad groups are running constantly and spending most of your budget while others are not getting almost anything. As in this case, you can see that four of those ad groups were spending while these ad groups didn't receive anything. So the next thing that I did, I separated those good-looking ad groups into a different campaign. Having 26 different ad groups in just one campaign is insane amount of ad groups. And now let me show you the data from November after we fixed everything, the tracking, the campaign setup, the campaign conversions and audience. Let me show you how it looks now. One main campaign with just three different ad groups and it is the winning campaign that generates almost all of the conversions. And then branding campaign, display campaign and different tests that we are running with limited budgets. So if we're going to compare the data to August, take a look at the improvement. First of all, the lead amount has increased by 73%. We have generated 59% instead, 59 leads instead of 32 leads in August. As for cost per conversion, it has dropped by 27%. Instead of $304, we paid just $219. Almost $100 drop, which has a huge impact because now we can generate more conversions with our budget. As you can see, tracking was really important for this campaign. 
or any campaign on any platform because every platform should understand what do you want to get in return. It needs to track all the activities from your website. In addition to that, the correct organization of your campaigns is really crucial. Even if Google allows you to create almost unlimited amount of ad groups, it doesn't mean that you should go and do that. You definitely need to construct your campaigns in a specific order. If you're using keywords, if you're using broad keywords, don't create more than three or four ad groups in one campaign. It simply won't work that way. 